Hello everyone! Thanks for watching. I'm Miss Hannah and I'm so excited to help lead you through our special worship time made especially for younger kids. Usually at church we go downstairs after worshiping with our families for some time during, during when the adults listen to the sermon. Right now of course we're all worshiping and doing everything else from home, aren't we? I hope that wherever you are, you can make this a special time to worship God. A special hello and thank you for watching for any guests who might be watching us from your homes, wherever you are. And I also want to say hi to those that I hope are watching regularly to the kids that are usually worshiping here, worshiping here together. So hi to the girls. Hi, Charlotte and Cynthia, Abigail and Eva, Grace and Josie and Marika. And hello to the boys, Teddy, Sagan, hi to Toby and Calvin, and hi to Kaden and Ben. Let's greet each other with our special Easter greeting today. I say, Christ is risen, and you say, the Lord is risen indeed. Great job. So today is a Sunday, and did you know that we worship on a Sunday to help us remember that Jesus rose on a Sunday? So in a way, every Sunday, we kind of are celebrating Easter, the fact that Jesus is risen, and you can see the evidence of that behind me too. So we have this special banner with the cross radiating these beautiful colors, and we have white, the color of Easter, to help remember that this is a special season of Easter time. Today, Sunday, April 26th, we are still in this special time of Easter to remember that God is risen. It's a great thing to remember. Let's remember this with some special songs that we have. So we're gonna sing This Is The Day, which we haven't sung for a little while, so I'll remind you of a couple of the motions for it. So this is the day, you're gonna go with your two arms like this. It's kind of like this hand is the sun, and it's going down on one day. This is the day. And you should remember the Lord, you take your fingers, make an L shape, the Lord from your shoulder down to your hip has made, and this is the motion for made, so it's kind of like when you're making something with your hand. And then, um, this is the day that he rose again. This is, that's the second verse. So this is the day that he, we're going to point up to the sky because God is in heaven, that he rose again. So we're going to do our motion for rose. Okay. So that's, those are the motions and it's nice and repetitive and it's a happy song to start our worship time together. Ready? This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. The next verse, remember, this is the day that he rose again. Ready? This is the day. This is the day that he rose again. That he rose again. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day where he rose again. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that he rose again. Thank you for singing with me. Let's sing Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. We've sung this a lot lately, so hopefully you remember, but this is one of my favorite motions where we clap and go like this. Ready? Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord o'er all the earth. He is the King of creation. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to his name. Thank you. How about one that I bet all of you know, and that is Jesus loves me. Ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thank you very much. And now our last song before we have story time is Be Still and Know. So remember, in this special worship time, we move a little slower, we speak a little quieter, and we give other people the quiet and the space that they need. So if you have maybe a brother or sister or mom and dad near you, maybe give yourself a little space and let your body and your mind settle as we sing this song and remember to really focus on the story and learn what God wants to tell us today through the story. Let's sing Be Still. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This story is called Resurrection, Appearance to the Ten. Jesus died, but God made Jesus alive again. Some of Jesus' friends saw the angel. Others ran to see the empty tomb. Jesus called one of them by name. Do you remember who that was? It was Mary. And once she heard his voice, then she recognized that it was Jesus. Two of Jesus' friends walking down the road to Emmaus met a stranger and talked with him. They did not know who the stranger was until he took bread and broke it and blessed it and offered it to them. Then they knew it was Jesus. He was alive. Jesus' friends hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the others the good news. This is a resurrection story. So we have the white underlay here. That night, 10 of Jesus' friends and other followers met together. The doors were tightly shut. Suddenly, Jesus appeared before them. He said to them, Peace be with you. Some of the people were frightened and thought it must be a ghost. But Jesus said, Why are you afraid? I am alive, just as I promised. See the wounds on my hands and on my feet? Here, touch me. A ghost doesn't have flesh and bones. Have you anything to eat? 
They brought him broiled fish and some honey. The stranger ate. Now the friends of Jesus and the other followers knew it really was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Jesus is alive. I wonder how the disciples felt when the stranger appeared. I wonder how Jesus got into the room without opening the door. I wonder how they felt when they saw the wounds on Jesus' hands and feet. I wonder if they said anything to Jesus. Boys and girls, do you have any wondering questions? Thank you. Wasn't that an amazing story, boys and girls? How Jesus suddenly appeared in a locked room where the disciples were all afraid and worried about what might happen and suddenly Jesus appears to them and tells him he's alive. I love that story. So I have lots of ways today that you can respond, but of course you can respond in your own ways. Maybe you just want to draw a picture of that broiled um, fish and honey. Maybe you like honey. Maybe you want to have a little snack with honey today. Um, I have a couple other ideas too. Or if you have Duplos or blocks, maybe you want to try building that room and think about what it may have looked like and think of a way of reenacting how Jesus suddenly appeared and surprised his disciples and other followers. I have a couple of options too that I've sent your parents way through the email. One is to color this nice picture. I like this picture because it shows how the room is locked and there are even people by the door here to show how worried they were. And Jesus is saying, peace be with you, just like in our story. And we see Jesus with some of his followers here. So you can color it how you like. It's kind of a fun one. Another idea that's a little more interactive. Again, all you really need is a printer and paper at home. You might, you'll need a pencil too, or a marker or something like that. So I've also sent this and it comes with three. I cut off one and you color you only need to make one, but you can make more if you want. And then the fun part comes, you're going to glue one side to the other on a pencil. I think a pencil works best because I like the little ridges. And then there's this cool trick. So on one side, we have Jesus followers and disciples. On the other side, we have Jesus. He's kind of saying, surprise. And then here's where it gets kind of cool. If you spin it just right, it looks like Jesus is suddenly appearing. Can you see it? Oh, it's kind of there. I bet you can do an even better job, but I love this little trick and it's kind of, kind of fun to see. So you can pause this and take a few minutes to do one of those options, or you can just do that after the lesson, whatever you like. All right, folks, now is the time where we come back together and often we'll use sort of a fun song, like an action song or something to get kids to come back and share what they've done and their responses to the story. I'd like to sing a song some of you might recognize, but it might be new some, for some of you, and it's called We Are the Church. And I really like it because it has motions, but it's also a good reminder in this very different time that even though we cannot see each other and worship together, we are all the church together, even if it's from far apart. So if I am the church, you are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. I like world. You kind of make two W's with your fingers and then you make a circle. That's world. All around the world. And kind of going around in a circle too. Yes, we're the church together. And then we get to make a little church building with our hands. So you just kind of fold your hands, go like this, with your thumbs like this, 
We say, the church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. Can you make a steeple with your two pointier fingers? The church is not a resting place. The church is the people. Okay? So that's kind of fun. Building, steeple, resting place, people. And in this case, the church has the people inside. Today, we're not inside the church, but we are the church wherever we are in our homes. All right, let's sing it together. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is the people. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. And here's another verse. I really like it because it's a reminder that it's not just our church right here that we worship with, but it's all the people all around the world. We're many kinds of people with many kinds of faces, all colors and all ages too, from all times and places. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. You want to make a church with me one more time and sing that first verse? The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is the people. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. Great job. To get ready to read the Bible story from the Bible, we're going to recite the Shema. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. You shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Now, this Bible story is found in two books of the Bible. You can find it in John chapter 20, but we're going to read it from Luke chapter 24, verses 36 through 49. So here I've got my Bible and I'm going to read it for you. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled and why do you doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, do you have anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnessing all these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you've been clothed with power from on. Oh, that's a great story. I think it's a really encouraging story in this time when we might fear, feel sort of fearful and, and home and sort of locked in, that God comes to us wherever we are and he has good news for us. Let's have some prayer time. 
One of my favorite parts of teaching children's worship is hearing your prayer requests, and I know you certainly have some. So, since today I cannot hear your prayer requests, remember that God can always hear them. So I'll start a prayer and I'll have some silent time and you can pray either in your heart or you can pray out loud. And then we'll finish by reciting the Lord's Prayer together. If you know it, you can join me or you can just listen. Will you pray with me? Dear Lord, we thank you that you are so powerful. You can come wherever you want to be with us, wherever we are even if we're far away from each other in our home. Lord, thank you for all of your blessings and thank you most of all for loving us. And now we're going to bring our request to you either out loud or in our hearts quietly. And would you say the Lord's Prayer with me? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. We will finish our time together by singing the Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow song. Would you sing it with me? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you and keep you.